Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Child of Adam Roleplay. Yes, we are on Far Harbor, and I really like setting up these shots. How wonderful is this layout? We've got the person in the side to make a little bit of a difference, a little bit of lack of symmetry, but then we maintain the symmetry with all the posts on the dock. It's really quite wonderfully put together. I'm very impressed with the way that the people of Bethesda do this, and also, if I say so myself, I like how I'm able to- Oh! Oh, I'm in the water now. I like how I'm able to make this composition myself. Now, I'm currently stuck in the water, uh, but all things considered, I'm actually in a bit of a mood. You see, um, how the hell did I just get out of the water like that? You see, you know, let me do a little flash for all you guys. Oh, I think Tink likes you. Here, kitty. Tink? Tell Tink to find the new man. I am taken. I am only dog meat's honey bunny. Was everybody Shut favorite. up. I have to get Grandpa to George this. Can rest. George can rest in peace. Damn it! Why haven't you accepted my Wonderful. charity? Give me more! Heroic Avenger. Give me. I know exactly how you feel. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yep. done. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Cool. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm just a little bit annoyed with the way that I got killed, and it happens and whatnot, but it's it was somewhat frustrating, so I took a break, and God, I love the way I keep coming out of the water. Hold on. You see, because the character, when you jump out of the water, you immediately turn straight. So from completely flat to completely straight out of the water. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway. A mainlander like you? No chance against hey, I just killed a crawler. You watch it, big guy. So anyway, we're gonna have to find a way to take out the people on the way to Acadia. It's gonna be a bit of a problem and annoyance, yes, that's true, but I've been also told about someone named Pearl. I just read Talk a comment about. talking about it, and if I, I find this Pearl, she might be able to provide us a cool trade. mission that allows us to go up to that hotel that we originally kind of explored. You've been to the tannery? Not you. you and if I... Yet? Ooh, good, they have a place for our power armor to get changed which by the way since it was inspired by the vim people it immediately made me think of vinny vidi vici and the i came i saw i conquered thing so i feel like it's a good name for that well unfortunately i don't see any perils anywhere i'm exploring this town real quick to see if we can like pick up any cool items or any good notes so far, this is pretty sick. I like how they had this um, America kind of ribbon, ribbon wreaths going on. Silver plates, interestingly. I still don't get how it rains inside houses. I mean, there's a wet texture. Not here, though. Oh my goodness, did they fix that? There's still wet texture here, however. Oh well, that's okay. It is still okay. You know what? There's our first advanced safe. Let's go ahead and go into the lockpick. Perfect. I'm ready to see what's inside. Nice. That was actually my first advanced lockpick ever. I have never in any of my playthroughs ever picked up anything that was in that kind of lockpicking ability. It is so true, and I'm okay with it, because I always really liked the computer stuff more, personally. I always found it to be able to open... Ooh, hello. Oh, that's a bummer. I always found it was easier and better to open up different kinds of computer terminals because they gave you access to certain things rather than just uh, items. Okay, I came up here in that anger haze and God, this is pretty. This is a really good looking DLC. I love how different it feels color scheme wise and weather wise too. Like there are plenty of places in the Commonwealth where you would get onto a house building similar to this and you would look out and you'd see trees and things but to be so much more sparse and so it's really fun to see this increased density of foliage 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 not foliage foliage jeez I call myself an adult all right I've yet to locate Miss Pearl so I am gonna have to assume that she just shows up eventually not Pearl okay that's that was a good double check this has been cooking for days. It better be delicious and done soon. Are you gonna run to the wall again? Nah, you're gonna do it correct this time. All right, I'm gonna be on the lookout for more bottles. I mean, last time we were able to got a lot of the dirty water stuff, but since we found a couple of locations that will have purified water available for us, and we don't have to actually use the dirty water trick, that will be pretty good. Can you keep up, Longfellow? Huh? Huh? I'm fast 
faster than you. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Oh God, it's the crawler. All right, so we're a little tired. I'm gonna take a Nuka Cola as we get into this fight that we're about to walk into again. Where did he go? I'm actually a little lost. There we go. Give him the icon on his head. All right, this is where we died. You know, if I just do this, even safer. Just, just get on the car. Just out of. Whoop. You got this. I have full faith in you. Holy! What happened to the full faith, bro? Huh? Into the truck. Oh, I thought he said I'm gonna make some toast out of your corpse. Holy crap! Did you see how it went into the ground? Was that it? Was I killed by a gulper that did that like weird in thing? And why does it have a comfy pillow in it? I don't know, dude. I'm invisible again. It's all you. Well, that's something I know how to fight. Haha, -ha, see? I know how to fight it. I even surprised it. I am the sneaky snack. Not ninja, sneaky Gulper snack. Water. That's fresh water? Gulper, the ones in these parts is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Oh shit. Good thing you don't see too many of them. I've heard him say this line before, but I actually didn't realize he was talking about bigger gulpers. Truck crash. Oh, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. This is my special tie. Even that is my special tie. Oh, we didn't kill the other one. God damn it. I just didn't finish killing you, okay? Don't be like that, all right, brah? Oh, the bloody mess goop explosion. Nope. Headshot. Critical. Oh, I love that head throwback that they do. Not dead yet. One more shot. We got you. Ooh, chee. Wow. Gonna have some of that blood bug stick. Get all my health back. That's cool. I like that. That looks really interesting. We're not gonna use it though because it's a rifle again, but damn, does it sound cool. All right, well, we got ourselves another legendary that's pretty sick. Oh, this is just spinning. <laughs> Spin on forever, my friend. Never stop. Oh, man. So far, things are going well, but damn, our ammunition is definitely low. I really don't like using the TikTok as much anymore. It's really not fast enough. It's not giving enough general damage. It's not accurate enough. Oh, oh hi. Hey, can we be best friends? Bringing one more soul to the damnation, old oh, man. Oh, no, I'm all here for well, you. What have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. Barb shield. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Depending. All right. Yeah. Let's calm down, let's everybody. Just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes, beasts that subvert the will of Adam. I, as a follower in Adam, do believe that I will be the one to decide, for I am a faithful. But tell All me right, about Adam. I'm listening. I want to tell hear your understanding Adam. of Adam. Tell you. Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Ooh. All right, sign me up. Okay, sign me up. Excellent. Head to the nucleus. There, Adam's plans for you will be revealed. Woo! You're done wasting time with a fanatic. Let's move on. Yay! Okay, so up assuming that the air is clean, I'm no gonna hold fog. off on this conversation in a second. It is not too far now. That was that was the entire walk to Acadia. I probably could have done that on my own if it, you didn't just attack those gulpers that killed me earlier. I was all ready to be like, oh, I'll get here no matter what. And this was actually pretty easy. Thanks for the help. Hi. And we've arrived. 
Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got nice. a cabin we can go to the Longfellow's cabin. Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Thank you. Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. <laughs> All right. Maybe later. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. If you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I can think of worse things to do. He's just like, I'm so amazed that you survived. Come out. Too many nights out sleeping in the fog. <laughs> just amazed you lived. I'm like, well, thank you. So, a couple things that are important to talk about in relation to the character roleplay wise. I don't recall if I actually got these out because there was an episode that I lost. So this is the important part. Our character is a good ghoul at heart. Now that is important to keep in mind because we want to join Adam, but we haven't actually seen any Adam group until just now. For example, I don't think synths are bad necessarily. Sure, they can't be irradiated by Adam, that is the case, but they're simply creations that went from the people who had not been touched by Adam, right? Only the feral ghouls are the ones that cannot be explained in any way. They're the only ones who have ex received Adam and haven't accepted him. Also, fun note, here's a ham radio. I, uh, I guess whoever was talking to uh, Kasumi was uh, probably right up here. Holy crap, do you think I could talk to her dad from here? Come in, come in, Papa Kenji. Papa Kenji. So with that said, I think it makes sense for us to go down the Children of Adam quest line if it exists. And the part of the reason that I bring up this thing about the character is that it would be really easy to go down the Children of Adam quest line and then if they're like, kill everybody on the island, just to go ahead and do so. But I'm not sure if that is 100% with our character. Because they wanted to go to the creator of Adam and understand Atom himself. Now, will we understand Adam himself or will there be blasphemous people at the Children of Adam? Will they be people who deserve to be taken out? Will they be people who deserve to be good? Like, will we be able to irradiate and show more people the glory of Adam? Or will we end up having to kill lots of valuable people who, even though they may not accept Adam, and this is actually a quote of the Catholic Bible, and this is a Jesus quote. I'm, uh, I've talked about how I'm an agnostic, but I, I've read the book, and so it's, it's really fun to quote it every once in a while. Those who believe in me will have the gates to heaven. Those who respect me, I will not forget. Cannot recall where that line specifically was, what book, but it stuck in my head as an interesting line because it was like, hey, just because you don't necessarily believe in Catholicism or Christianity and all that stuff, it doesn't mean that, you know, an all loving God would necessarily be like, you guys are assholes because you're a good person kind of thing. And I always thought that was kind of nice. I was like, oh, thank you, Bible, for, uh, you know, extending that. A much more modern kind of interpretation of it. Since that, you know, you read some of the old stuff and they're like, it doesn't matter what you are. Even if you believe Jesus Christ is God and God is God or God is a fire God or a crab or whatever, our religion's the right one. So it's nice to see some of those modern interpretations showing up in some of the biblical scriptures. Anyway, that was a bit of a side thing to kind of explain our character. And I just realized that our dude's wearing a tire on his back. You see that? That has treads. That is a tire. <laughs> Okay, now that I just did my little spiel about how I like synths and the like, but that's... Oh... Rads? No rads. Clean water. If they got bottles, we are gonna get filled. This is an you interesting... Know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity understanding peace while you're here in Acadia synth kind welcomes you as long as you welcome us Whoa. what are you I told you I'm the old synth on the mountain <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell My skin is goopy, no worries. I'll try to help you. 
He sounds like Nick. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Oh, I have no idea. Why are you asking? Because she part. came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. Possibly. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That I'm someone sure. stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? That would be fascinating. How would How I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? That's fascinating. I like how I have to state what I am. I'm pretty confident that we're human. Uh, at least our character would say that I'm human, but I'd, I'm really ghoul. Anyway, but so we're gonna go human, but on an interesting note that I find fascinating too. The, the question Are isn't you? so much oh, right. shh, the question isn't so much what is true, as much as it is what do you believe, and that's a fascinating idea about like there's no way to really to prove it without dying. I'm a human being. Not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Interesting. Holy crap, they're gonna make us question it, because the first memory we have was with the family before the bombs fell. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? What an interesting idea. People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. That is such an amazing thing. I mean, that's a great point. The only memory that we have as players was the day the bombs fell. I mean, we played through it. Which is an argument to say that it was truly us, you know, that experienced it. However, Careful as a human being, shh, admirable. Thanks. As a human being, that's kind of an eternal question. How can you prove it was really you doing it? Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Nah, I, th I think, uh, ooh, I'm in the Brotherhood? That's not true. That's just the last part thing I was a part of, so let's ask. So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. 
Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. Plenty. I've been impressed with the sense I've come across. That's good to hear. I hope your opinion of us only continues to get better. Now, was there anything else? So, this is an important part of our roleplay. I, as Kublai Khan, love the idea of synths. I think they're fascinating and would do everything I can to help them. This is a roleplay, and we haven't exactly hit on the fact of, like, would our character truly go against the child of Adam if they hated synths? Time. Unless, potentially, there's a way to make a peace between the two. Because I, as a believer of Adam, could imagine that there wouldn't be any reason to dis destroy them, as I said in that quote earlier. Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. That's fascinating. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave just sitting Meditation. one day it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do who I was I've been doing that ever since was there anything it. else no that's good I should get going of course perhaps we're in there a long time are you feeling all right I'm fine you worry too much sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough you know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. So something happens when uh, you're in here? Oh, hey, Faraday. Are you a... Uh, I was having a well? hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. They are uh -oh. nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday... Relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. I do think synths deserve safety. So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others he never stops to think of himself sometimes I worry about well if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional and that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers so many things to keep track of lucky to have you seems like he's lucky to have you helping thank you that's very kind that's what I try to do so I'm gonna offer to help important thing to keep in mind uh, I'm kind of asking you guys what do you think we should do with the character in a way? I, we don't know yet what the Children of Adam want, but potentially, and I'm expecting to see a fight between these synths against the people. I'm down sorry, I thought you were going to say something. Slow down. About the synths, about between the child, Children of Adam and between the people in the Far Harbor City that we landed in. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, We've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. So we're gonna help, if there's and anything then I'm gonna start looking for a bed. Out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. So there was a money option, but it didn't actually give us uh, a speech check for it, so I didn't really want to do it. Okay, let's see if we can find a bed here. God, that synth style looks so cool. I mean, I liked how Nick looked, for sure. But with all the little stuff in his back, it has a very interesting look to it as well. A lot of good, just random junk laying around this place. 
Also, a lot of lights and little indicators and things. I really wonder what's going on up here. Oh, <gasps> storage key. Just run around the top and you find it. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Thank you. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. Well, I'm just making sure she's okay. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, she's every dressed synth like convinced to come here, has coarser. been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. She might be a courser. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. Alright dude, so we've had the opportunity to meet Dima and some crazy interesting people to start. We found Kasumi, we think we'll find out for sure, see if she's safe. Consider what I talked about with the Child of Adam versus the Synths thing, because my immediate reaction is to try to make peace amongst everybody, and I think that's what our character would do. But if peace was unobtainable, would they go with the synths? Would they go with the Child of Adam? Where a Child of Adam play though, but would we be the kind of Child of Adam character where it's like, this isn't really what Adam would want? Or would we be like, yes, follow the Atom? And I kind of want to hear what you guys think about that. So let me know, comments down below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button over to the side. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.